Yo guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So, I've been trolling through the internet for the last couple of days trying to figure out how to paint things on the trucks in Euro Truck Simulator. So, when you add a mod in, sometimes it doesn't play very nicely with a skin. So, I'll show you a quick example of what I mean. It will basically take the paint from the side of the truck and it will smash it all over the front ball bar instead of the front ball bar being one specific colour. So when this loads up, we have got quite a few mods going in here. I'm not going to cut this video about or anything like that. This is going to be set the way that it is set. So... Let's find a truck. So I know, for instance, the Toy Story one doesn't have the paintable ball bar. Right? So, well, it, it does have the paintable ball bar, but it doesn't work properly. So once we get into the game, I'll show you what I mean. Right, so as you can see on the screen here, this has a perfectly painted green ball bar on it. If we now go into the game... We go back to the red spanner. And we now go and change into the Toy Story truck. You're going to see when we change to Toy Story that at the bottom of the ball bar there, it's all messed up. All on the bottom of the ball bar, that side is all messed up. You can even see it in the grill there. You can see it on the down posts there and there. And that grill there and the top grill. And you can also see that this sun... Uh, stone guard is also messed up. The sun visor is also messed up. The extension side skirts are messed up. The front lower lip is messed up. So in order to paint this stuff, there's two ways of doing it. You can either find the original mod for the... Toy Story truck, which I should have somewhere, I believe, on my D drive in my backup folder. No, it's not in there in mods. I think it could be on here. Side here. Right, Toy Story. So here's the Toy Story um, mod. And once you've downloaded it, if you go into the def file, vehicle, truck, scan your 16 paint job accessories and then into the SII file these are all the specific parts of the truck and we then need to add in so just trying to so the side skirts have actually got a mural on them so this 
is going to be yellow as far as our, is it? yep so yellow mirrors yellow over over fenders and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we need to do So you can then go to, once you've downloaded, say for instance, my ball bar mod, which is the paintable ball bar, which is in here somewhere. It's a paintable ball bar. And then we go into the def file on here as well. And then we look for Scania. It's going to be under scan your R and then accessories, front grill, and then in the front grill, what we need to do is we need to find what the add on is, and the add on is F grill. So we're going to copy this and then we'll go back to the Toy Story truck. So what we're going to do is We'll copy this line of text. We'll paste it down here. And you need to make sure that you give one space between the closed bracket. So this is now going to be front grill. And then to make the ball bar work is full stop shape. 6p so the specific ball bar is um shape six and p stands for paint so as you can see there f underscore grill dot shape 6p and we also have some other mods that we um that we would want to skin which would be part of the echo pack so to find that you'll come you'll download the echo pack and then you'll unpack it and then you'll go into def vehicle truck this is a scania s so we're going to go into the scania s and accessories and then for the sun shield and the stone we'll go in the stone guard first so how this works doing it this way is that you need this end part so this is s truck and um guard so we're going to copy that and we're going to place that again we actually we need to copy this line again so we're going to then press enter add a new line of accessory and then we're going to copy that s guard into there and then we're going to put a full stop and the name is this part at the front so whatever is before the dot scania dot s16 is the name of the mod so we're going to copy this so it's called echo so then we put it after the full stop so this is where it is and this is the name of the particular mod that we want to paint so again as you saw earlier there was actually two under the stone guards so the second one is s guard and then it's echo v2 so we're just going to copy this first line of code here and then we're going to paste that there like so hang on what happened there that only copied the echo part right so copy that and we're going to paste that in place you need to make sure there's no space between s guard and dot and then the name so the second stone guard was called v2 so we're just going to add a v2 onto the end of that so now 
we have painted the front ball bar, which is the um, the painted painted ball bar by myself, and then from the Echo Pack, the um, two stone guards, and we're also going to want to grab the two windshield as well. So again, you're just going to copy this line here. And we're going to put, we're going to paste it in twice because we're doing two of these. So then we just go into here and then it's called Sun Shield. So then we take this S guard out, put in Sun Shield. And it's Sun Shield Echo. So again, we'll take out the V2. And then we'll also do the same on the second one down. We're going to paste in Sun Shield. And I believe the second one is actually the V2 model, which it is. You can see there, V2. So, right now, what we have just done is we have opened up a skin, i.e., the Toy Story skin. And as you could see, the ball bar paint was messed up and also the stone guard and also the sun visor was all messed up. So we've come in here and we found the product, which is stone guard, and we also found the name from the echo mod and we've put them both in there. So the, this one is the ball bar, shape 6P which is ball bar and the Goliath is shape six and the P stands for paint. And then you've also got stone guard echo, stone guard echo V2, sun shield echo and sun shield echo V2. So now if we go file and save, And I just made a boo-boo, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to copy this section here. What I will advise is, so we're just going to close this off. It's going to ask us to save, click don't. So what I did by mistake was I closed WinRAR. Don't close WinRAR. So we're going to drag Toy Story out onto the desktop there. So once you open up this WinRAR, do not close it. Because if you close it, it won't save to the destination. So go to definition file, vehicle truck, scanner, paint job, accessories, toy story. And lucky enough, we have already copied everything that we just did. Make sure there's a space between the, clo the closed bracket and then click file, save. And then it will prompt you here saying that you're making changes to that skin. You're going to click yes. So now what you've done is you've modified the Toy Story skin to work with the Echo mod and also the Dr. Dave painted ball bar. So we're going to have to come back to the launch pad before we will be able to add in any new mods. This might be a bit of a lengthy video. Like I said, I'm not cutting any of it because if I make a mistake, I'll show you how to rectify it. Right, so now we're back on here, we can alt-tab back out and we can then copy this Toy Story. Oh, what am I doing? Click the wrong button. Um, we're going to go to Documents, Euro Truck, Mods, and we're going to drop this Toy Story into here. So this is Toy Story modified. So if you've modified it, try and rename it Toy Story Toy Story Modified. Right, so we've got that in there. So now we're going to go into our mod manager 
and as you can see there is the one so this one is from the steam workshop we need to turn this one off you can modify from the steam workshop but that's a whole different thing um so we're going to turn the toy story truck off from the steam workshop that truck is also available on the internet people have already put it on to several other sites so we have the non steam version over here which is the one that we modified click confirm changes and with any luck the ball bar the sun strip and also the stone guard will now all be painted Like I said, with any luck, it should have worked because I sat here for the last two days trolling through the internet to try and find the answer to this. And buried way in the depths of the SCS forum, there was just one little comment saying, oh, by the way, here you go. This is how you do it. So we're going to click drive. We're going to go to the red spanner. We're going to put the Toy Story skin on the truck. So here's Toy Story. And now, as you can see, the ball bar is painted yellow and all yellow. And also, if we look at the sun strip and also the stone guard, there we go. It is now painted. Right, but there is another thing. So, Remold is also a, another mod creator. And kindly, inside his mod, he created this. So, if you need to paint any of his accessories, he has made a skin skinning note dot text where all the accessories that you can paint you can just copy all of these like so and then you can go to the toy story mod is now in in my mods folder so if we go to the toy story mod so we go here Def, vehicle, truck, scan your paint, accessories. So now, I can just go paste like that, and I've just pasted in all of the mod add-ons from Remold. So you've got front, front bumper, sorry, that's rear bumper, rear bumper, rear bumper, rear bumper. So that's three different rear bumpers. You've got... Um, Two different back bars and you've also got one two three four four different exhaust air bars and you've also got one two three four different covers you've also got a front grill um a bumper grill a uh, free bumper grill add-ons so now now that i've dropped all of those into there they're now all going to be yellow so hopefully you get my drift with most mods, you will find that they do not, and I mean do not, give you that nice little file with the um, this inside. So you have to do it the way that I showed you. You would have to go into the def file, vehicle, truck, scan your S, or whatever truck you're planning to use, and then you've got headlights, and then blue LED headlight. So this would be called headlight dot, and then you would take that one, B LED, which stands for blue LED, and that is the line of text that you need to then make that color code on your truck. It's that simple. But if you use a program like I do, for instance, if you use Mod Studio to create your skins, which most people do, that's 
brilliant. It is a really good program. So you go File, New, and then we're going to add a template, Advanced Truck Skin, and then we're going to choose the Scania S Next Gen. And under the accessories, you've got all the standard accessories. You've got your front lights, your sun guards, your front mirrors, mirrors, window frame, additional lights, front logo, front mask, front mask chassis, front grille, cabin, front grille chassis, front rib cabin, cabin, front rib chassis, headlight, front bottom, front bumper, front mud guards, side mirror, side paint, door handles, front fender, side skirts, rear exhaust, chassis cover, rear fenders, rear bumper, and here I have all my add-ons. So instead of me having to search for the line of code or line of text that I need every single time, like having to open up the remold mod and open up this and then go in and paste it into the place where I want it to go, as I'm building my skin, I can come in here and then go, right, for instance, we want a yellow stone guard. We uh, So yellow ball bar, yellow stone guard, yellow sun visor, and then this is the... So where your side skirts are like this, Echo made an extension that goes onto the bottom of your side skirt. So again, you can paint the side skirts yellow, and then you've got low bumper lip, high bumper lip, so in order to add one of these into here, you will go to SCS Tools, Vehicle, and then you're going to scroll down the list until you find Scania S Next Gen. Then you're going to come across to Accessories. You're going to click the Accessory arrow down, and then you're going to click the Add tab. So we're going to do a demonstration for you. So for instance, we wanted to use F grill dot shape 21C. We would take that without the little apostrophes either side. We copy this. This now goes into the value. And then the text will be the same. But you would then put in the mod author at the front. So. The mod author of this is Remold, so Remold. So then I know that this is a re this is mod by Remold, and this is a front grill, and it's shape twenty one C. So then, to add it to a, I heard the kids just coming. So just basically to add it to your own group. You just put in a group name here, which will be my add-ons. Hello, bubs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, so you would put in the group my add-ons, and then when you click OK and save, you would then have it in this list here. So that's it, guys. That's a simple how to add on products to be painted in your skins. Hope you found the video... Uh, helpful and we will see you all in next time so bye for now